Chan Soni, MBBS MAMC, MD Pathology, Resident Hematology, Ames Daily. Let us have a look at a clinical based question from liver in our today's session. Now, what do you see in this? The question itself shows you that a middle aged male is evaluated for medical illness. Patient had no significant past or medical history. Family history elicits alcohol dependence and cirrhosis. So, cirrhosis is because of alcohol intake. Liver biopsy is performed and shows the following. So, basically, all the examiner is telling you is that a middle aged male has come to you with the following liver biopsy. I'll just show you the image of the same. Now, the examiner has asked you that the most likely clinical finding in such a case will be. Now, now he has given you four options. So, let us first have a look at the image provided. Now, what do you see here? Firstly, the minute I see this image, I am very comfortable with the fact that this is liver. How do I know that? All these are the hepatocytes. All these, all these, which is, these are the hepatocytes which are present in chains and cots, making the parent organ as liver. Next, now which is the problematic area in this slide? There are two areas. Firstly, you are able to identify these cells which are marked with the arrows. Firstly, and secondly, which you are able to make out this area of inflammation which is present here. All this, all this is the area of inflammation. These are the two problems in this slide. So making it as a diagnosis of what is the first what does the first cell tell you? This as compared to a normal hepatocyte, this is a shrunken contracted hepatocyte. What is contracted or apoptosis of hepatocytes called as councilman bodies? So Bache, the first image is that of councilman bodies. And secondly, all this dense inflammation that you're able to see, this is mainly by lymphocytes. So dense lymphocytic infiltrate, dense inflammation or dense lymphocytic infiltrate, making this as a acute hepatitis, making this as a diagnosis of acute hepatitis. Next point. So all the examiner has told you is that a middle-aged male has come to the OPD with, with features of acute hepatitis. Let us have a look at the question now most likely clinical presentation of the feed of the patient will be Dekho bache, clay colored stools are associated with post hepatic jaundice they are associated with post hepatic jaundice and so is prolonged pruritus and fatigue the minute we talk of pruritus we are talking of post hepatic jaundice versus acute hepatitis which will present with fever anorexia and dark colored urine again because of hyperbilirubinemia making the answer as p Lastly, option D, that is skin pigmentation and diabetes, also called as bronze diabetes. This skin pigmentation, this is of bronze color, this is of bronze color, is associated with hemochromatosis. It is associated with hemochromatosis, firstly. Secondly, another question that is asked in this is, why is this bronze color coming in the patient, which is the main pigment associated, which is this bronze color is because of both melanin and hemocytrin it is because of both melanin and hemocytrin but the major component is melanin do not go wrong in this and say it as hemocytrin which is the major component is melanin next point so this was acute hepatitis and just to show you a clearer image of councilman bodies which you have a look at this now again, the minute I see this slide, I'm able to make out that all these, all these, these are the normal hepatocytes. Deho, what are you able to see here? You are able to make out that these are large cells with abundant granular cytoplasm and a nucleus. All these, all these, which is, these are the normal hepatocytes. They show the presence of a nucleus also, making the parent organ as liver. Next point, which is the abnormal cell in this? Have a look at this one. This is the this is the apoptotic contracted shrunken hepatocyte that is councilman body that is councilman bodies again associated with acute hepatitis versus versus but you now have a look at this image again the minute I see this I'm able to make out that the granularity of the cytoplasm is lost 
all these are hepatocytes only there is absolutely no doubt about the fact that these are hepatocytes but the problem is that the granularity of the cytoplasm is lost they have become hazy or ground glass in appearance so these are the ground glass hepatocytes these are these are ground glass hepatocytes associated with chronic hepatitis and which is, which is the most common chronic hepatitis associated with the presence of ground glass hepatocytes that is chronic hepatitis b virus infection chronic hb lastly lastly so as this was a microscopy of chronic hepatitis let us have a look at the microscopic features of the same chronic hepatitis microscopically shows us three features the first is it is associated with extensive fibrosis bridging fibrosis now there are only two big areas in liver portal tract and central vein so portal tract to portal tract portal tract to central vein and central vein to central vein bridging fibrosis next it is associated with the presence of ground glass hepatocytes most common with chronic hpv we just saw that and lastly it shows piecemeal necrosis which is what is piecemeal necrosis it is necrosis of the limiting plate what is limiting plate it is the first layer of hepatocytes just around the portal tract which if this is the portal tract if this is the portal tract first layer of hepatocytes around the portal tract is called as limiting plate and necrosis of the limiting plate is piecemeal necrosis perfect so this was a short session to show you the microscopic images and the integrated clinical based question which can be asked on the basis of acute and chronic hepatitis lastly lastly which is for numerous such sessions and questions on on the plus subscription of the unacademy app which is we are starting the neat pg season 1 the first batch started from 5th may in which we divided this into three seasons 5th to 22nd may which will be the high yield topics the second will be the test and the image based revision versus the last which will have subject wise test and discussion or the test and analysis session to ensure the maximum coverage you can use the code pathoua for pathoan academy or pathoua for maximum discounts ta take care take care and bestest of luck for the exam thank you